Hey everyone, how's it going? Masamune Vlogs So, I started taking art classes uh, during my sophomore year of college. Yeah, sophomore year. And dur that spring, I uh, took a 3D composition class, which was like sculptures and like 3D stuff. And this was one of the uh, things I made for the class. It's a, uh, this is a thing. I actually have no clue what this is. It just kind of popped into my head like orb with horns and a tripod. I, I, I should probably, let me just get a... So yeah, this is like a, it was going to be more of a rounded, uh, like a circle. So yeah, essentially what this is, is like a barrel with horns and three legs. And originally, this was going to be like, like I said, this was going to be like a circle, but there was like a certain size requirement. So. And, uh, yeah, I am going to be removing the legs. Because it is taking up way too much empty space on my, uh shelf so yeah I just thought I'd make this video so that you could see what this looks like before I uh, remove the legs forever and I'm planning on like uh, yeah, removing the legs and like painting over it possibly sanding it to round it out a little bit so uh, yeah I'm just gonna get to that Okay, so I'm planning to, I was originally planning to like saw these off, but I'm going to see how easy it'll be to just, this is pretty flimsy, so I think it'll be pretty easy to just uh, remove them by hand. Oh, uh, huh, look at that, it actually kind of is. Okay, well, barrel. The the paint. I think this is latex based, actually, so it's a little th thick. Oh. Oh no! A giant chunk came out of that. Oh boy. Wh whatever, I, I could sand that down. And so here we have a barrel with horns, no legs now. And oh, there's a crack. There is a crack. Whatever, this is like a very flimsy, despite looking very, huh. Well, I guess it is sturdy enough, but it's also made out of foam that dissolves very easily when you put paints on it and like glue. I was using like a spray on glue for a lot of these, so a lot of dents and divots and cracks. And holes. So, probably tomorrow I will sand and paint this, and then I will unveil the uh, finished thing. So, it is currently, I think, a week later. I know, I kind of lost track of time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I finally managed to uh, paint over the uh, spots where I ripped the legs off. And I also, you can't tell because it's so bright, but I also repainted the uh, bottom. And, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit out here to dry for the next couple hours. And then I'm going to put it out in the shed to dry for the rest of the night. And hopefully by tomorrow morning, uh, the paint will be dry. 
so it is now the next day actually it's currently the next night night after and uh, I did put this in the shed but then I immediately put it into the garage so that the ants don't get to it and uh, yeah as you can see it has dried up beautifully very beautifully on uh, all sides and uh, yeah it's not left a nice even coat and now it will no longer take as much space on my top shelf. Let's try to put this up. Oh, be careful so that the horns don't break off. And there we go. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good.